Hi everyone, this is White Wolf coming to you with another video and this time I'm going to show you what has changed in patch 43.123 and 4. So first of all I'm going to show you some footage about the tank that he is actually getting his points for using the shield. Let's go in. Next part in that patch is the FPS, frame rate per second. Everybody has probably seen some of my videos, sometimes my PC has problem with frame rate and now you get a message. Two things have changed here, they have fixed a problem with it and it only shows up when you go really low and that's below 10 frames per second. I'm gonna show you a video about it and you will see what happens. A little more. Don't let them capture the control point. Here you see the message of the FPS. Another bug that was fixed is on our gunner. When you are using the Chrome's fiery rage bullets, you had to wait for a cooldown before you can use them. They have fixed that problem and let's show you that it's fixed. I can start shooting it even with almost no cooldown. Just die, you die, you die, and I go the link, I get cooldown, no problem there. We are on patch 43.2 and the first thing that has changed is on Sapper. The experience gained by the totem skill has been reduced by 10%. We can't show you that exactly but I can now show you the skill itself. Let's go into the game and show you the skill where which one exactly has changed. This is the skill. The totem it has changed even the stats are not in here so I can't show you more than tell you it's reduced by 10% a change in gameplay for the Inquisitor the skill Lancaster wounds now activates even if the victim is blocking so from the moment of impact it starts and you can't block it anymore and the skill that has changed for him is the Lancaster Wounds. Here we have the skill. In the list you see blockable damage. It has been set to no. That means if you are the victim of the Lancaster Wounds, even if you are blocking, it will get you. So we saw they are blocking. Even when they are blocking, I was able to get through their defense. Again, they were blocking and through the defense. Boom. Oh. 
here we are on our paladin. Another change here is that the maximum paladins in one team is limited to two. Before this there was no limit, could be three or four even. And another change is a fix for Chimera's Ashes. It was affecting the bosses and the mini bosses in PvE locations. So that's no longer a happening. I'll show you the skill I'm talking about. And this is the skill Chimera's Ashes that no longer affects the mini bosses and the bosses on PvE locations. This list can only be filled with one, uh, two paladins on each side. Another thing I can show you on this paladin is the reset to zero of your battle value. The battle value is a part of your effectiveness and that's here. It consists out of equipment, what you have learned and your abilities and how you do in battle. So it's the battle statistics or the battle value that has been reset to zero. It can go from minus 300 to unlimited in positive. I hope this clears something up for you and let's go on with more fixes. Two last things have changed in this patch. They fixed a bug that prevented you from opening items that were available for crafting. And the difficulty has been changed on the Midnight Island and the Dusk Island. Let's show you which ones they are. There has been done a correction to the difficulty on the Dusk Island, that is this one. And on the Midnight Island. It's one of the changes in... Here we are on patch 43.3. Two small changes. One for Berserker and something has been added to the store. A paper bag to pull over your head. And a health reduced by 8% instead of 9 for one stack of the Berserker Rage. Let's go in and I show you. Here we are on Berserker with Berserker Rage. And if you look in the uh, list, you see it decreases a maximum health by 8%. It was 9% before. This is for every stack, so half a. And the second change in this patch was the paperback. It is a limited offer and is gone by the time this video gets out. But here you see it and you know about it. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the next patch. Here we are on 43.4 and the first thing I'm gonna show you is a change on a frost patch. Let's go in. First two changes here are the Siren Scream. That is this ability. And the change is the experience gained has been reduced by 15%. And the second one is Second Wind. That is this one. Now experience can be gained for healing an ally. Has been added. We also have a change for the Berserker. His finishing blow now deals 5% more damage. Show you the skill I'm talking about. Here we are on the skills and this is the one that changed the finishing blow. Now it does 5% more damage. So the damage number has gone up. In 43.4 a lot has changed for the healer. I'm going to show you one or two videos about it and also all the skills that have been changed. Let's go and see. And here we are on the map at night. Now let's do a skill and then two power hits and do the same with Incense of Quickening to see if we are indeed faster. <laughs> Start at 10 seconds and I have 5 left. So 
about five seconds and I'm backwards instance of calculating this kill. Now it starts at eight. And we done before four, so four seconds. It increases your speed. That was it. We just saw incense of quickening or power of quickening and this is this skill and the change here is the amount of experience has gained by 15% There's a second change so the bug was fixed and it gains some extra experience then ring of immortality here we are on ring of immortality and this time the radio no the duration has been changed from 10 seconds to 8 and also the radius has changed from 9.5 to 8 meters other change is a resurrection the radius has changed from 10.5 to 8 and also the recovery time has changed to 60 seconds they also fixed a bug on this skill the 7 league boots that you could not run on the enemy glares of ice so there's a bug fix. Now we are down to the last two. One more for the sapper and the gunner. Here we are on the skills and it's this one that changed. Archibus Mastery. And normally you would get two will points for any shot that hit his target. Now it has been reduced to one. last change is a visual display of the battle fever skill for the sister of fire has been added well, let's see what it is and here we are and now it has been visualized you can see when the skill is active let's do this there we go the staff is lighting up and you know when the skill is active go in and get your hits down still going on and the skill has terminated I no longer have the battle fever the staff is back to normal and I'm on my back that was it for all the changes in the new patch 43 so one two three and four I will do these videos faster in the future I, this was a suggestion by one of the players that they do this so here it is this is white wolf signing off and see you in the next video